Hello everyone, uh, the second video, second assignment of this week is S3 on IXL. So that's what we are working on. It's about finding the slope of a line on the coordinate plane. So here is our question. Look at this graph. What is the slope? It's a pretty simple question. Uh, however, when you write your answer, make sure to simplify, make sure you simplify your answers and write it as a proper fraction or improper fraction or as an integer, which means like 0, 1, negative 10, positive 7, and so on. Just a number. Okay, so for the slope, what I'm going to use when you have a graph given, the simplest way, I believe, is using the rise and run and dividing those two numbers. For this, you'll need two points on the line, such as let me show you a bad example first. This is a point that you should not pick because we don't know what the coordinates are. We do know that one of the coordinates is 40, but what about that number? We, you cannot make assumptions, so we don't know what it is. So we do not pick that point. We look for another one, such as this right here. 30, 0 are the coordinates, and that one over here, over 60. You do not need to write these coordinates down. I just want to write it just to make sure you know what order to follow when you write the coordinates. By the way, I made a mistake over here. It is not 60, 0. It is over 60 up 20. <coughs> uh, let me over 60 up 20. Okay, so uh, let's move on to finding the coordinates or finding the rise and run that, uh, out. So between these two points, from here to here, you need to go up two. It's not up two, because yes, it is two grids, but each grid is 10, 10 units. So here, the coordinate plane goes by tens. It doesn't go by zeros. Uh, so this one here is up 20. Rise is 20. From this level to the second point, the run is 1, 2, 3. And remember, each grid was 10 units. It's not 3, it is 30. By the way, these numbers could be negatives as well. So here is how to decide what sign you need to use. If you're talking about right or up, these two are positive. If you're talking about left or down, these two are the negative ones. Also, one last thing, if you put 20 over 30 over here as your final answer, that's going to be wrong. You're not going to get any points for this question because it says simplify your answer. So here is how you simplify. If you can divide both of these two numbers by another number such as 10, your answer would be 2 over 3 which would be the final answer. Let's move on to the next one and see what type of question that one is. Okay, if you hit to kind of like 70 bar, 65, 68, then you're gonna see this sort of a question. I have no idea what the difference is between this one and the question before. It looks like they are both the same. So here is a point that I can see the coordinates of, and then here is another one. Remember, I do rise over run, count the rise. Let me change this color. It is, this one goes by tens again. So it's 10, 20, 30, and 40. It's up, that's why it is positive 40. And then this right here from this point to the other orange point, it's right 10. Right is positive as well, 40 over 10 is either 4 over 1 or just a 4. I would not suggest to put uh, suggest putting 4 over 1 over here. You may not get any points for that one as well. Just put a 4. Okay, let's see what happens if we skip another level. If that question is different, I will do that one too. Okay, this looks pretty much the same. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. 
here are two points that we can use rise is 20 and then run is 30 so rise over run is this simplify them by 10 the answer would be two thirds thank you for watching guys uh, I'll see you in another video please like the video subscribe to, ch to the channel if you still did not and if you have any questions comment below I'll try to answer as much as possible and try to help you out thanks again